Good morning students. My name is Mohit Soni and I am a mathematics teacher in Mount Literacy School, Chhasi. This video is for class 5th and today's topic is the numbers. So you all heard about what are the numbers. So basically if I say what are numbers, they will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on so you all know what are numbers but do you know that numbers can be divided into two parts first is whole number whole numbers like the whole numbers starts from 0 1 2 3 and so on but the second number that is called the natural number Natural numbers are starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So these are the two types of number. But these natural numbers are further divided into two parts. Like first is even numbers and second is odd numbers. So when we talk about first even numbers, what are even numbers? Even numbers are the numbers which comes in the table of 2 or you can say that which are the multiple of 2 like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. So these numbers are even numbers. Now let's talk about the odd numbers. What are the odd numbers? The odd numbers are those which do not come in the table of 2 like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. So these numbers are odd, odd numbers. Now let's talk about the prime numbers. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers which divides by itself or by 1. Like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and up to so on. So like this you can write the prime numbers. Now I have not written 1 over here. Why? Because 1 is not a prime number. Why 1 is not a prime number? Because it can be divided by itself. That is 1 only. You can see that I have written numbers which are divided by which divides by itself or by 1 means they, these numbers are divided by two numbers one by itself and second by 1 but 1 is divided by only 1 so this 1 is not a now the next topic is integers what are integers so Basically, integers are the numbers which consist all positive number and all negative number including 0. Or you can say that all whole numbers and all negative numbers. Like if I say 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now, these uh, includes negative numbers also like minus 1, minus 2. When we go backward, we will see the numbers are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So these types of numbers are integers which includes all positive numbers, positive numbers or you can say natural numbers second zero and third is all negative numbers so the integers are the numbers which include zero including positive and negative number face value and place value so let's talk about face value what is face value it describes the value of the digits. Second topic is what is place value? 
it states the position of a digit in a given number now for example if i say 24869 and if i underline a number 8 and if i ask that what is the face value of the digit in a number so as i written that it describes the value of the digit so its value is 8 so face value is 8 itself now if i say take out its place value so it states the position of the digit in the given number now how to take out the position so for this we have to read the number according to indian number system like ones tens hundreds thousands 10000 like this so as you can read that one stands 100 8 is at 100th place so we will multiply that value by 100 so the place value of the digit is 800 let's take another example the another example is like 5 9 9 3 7 6 if i ask the underlined digit that we have to find the face value and the place value both so what is the face value it describes the value of the digit so like one stands 100 1000 so this we have to do if we have to find the place value but first we are taking the face value so it described the value of the digit so as we as it is we can write the 9 as its face value the numbers we can see at the underline is its face value now place value like 1 stands 100 1000 and 10000 so 9 is coming at 10000th place so we will multiply the value by 10000 so the answer will be 90 thousand so this is the place value i hope you understand it very clearly now let's talk about the successor and predecessor what is successor and predecessor so in maths the term successor and predecessor refers to the numbers directly after or directly before a given number respectively to find the successor of a num given number add 1 to the given number and to find the predecessor of the given number subtract 1 from the given number so let us start like for example if i write 1029 we have to find the successor of the number what we will do we will simply add 1 to the number and we will get the successor like 1030 this is the successor let's take some small number like 53 just add 1 to the number and we will find the successor so in short by adding 1 to the given number we will find the successor the successor now come to the next point that is predecessor subtracting 1 from the given number we will find the predecessor for example like 57 if we have to find the predecessor of 57 just subtract 1 from the number we will find its predecessor now let's take another example like if i write 128 we have to find the predecessor just subtract 1 from the given number and we will find the predecessor so by subtracting by subtracting 1 from the given number we will find the predecessor 